Hello! I found a thing. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Uh. Dandelion's planning things? Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Well, Jerry only has been meeting women of late. It's uh, something people do sometimes. Uh, that could help, though. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? That's Zoltan, just wait. fine. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you up. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. I can do that, Mr. Zoltan. Uh, let's see. Let's read whatever verses we got. If I can remember... How to do that? Here we go. Dandelion's planner, Rosa Var Artre, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Is this supposed to tell us where these people are? I have no idea. Okay. They're, they're fun to read, though. I won't lie. Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped with lust's, in lust's embrace. Gildor, villain next to Morgan. Oh! Oh! It says right there. Oh, a garden enclosed in Villa Gildor. Next to the morgue. And Vespula. Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asked, ever had a big dipper? Okay. Far corners, laundry. I know where the laundry place is. I was there once. I remember. Because I wanted to clean my pants. Maribella. Though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. Oh, no. The bits near Popper Square. Elihal, a figure most rare, her natural duel. Look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. Tailor shop across from the tannery. Got it. Cool. Uh, but before we go, there's an upstairs. And there's probably more loot to be had. Let me loot this place real quick. Like, we can use the power of editing and get through it. And uh, if I find any anything of interest I'll be sure to show you okay okay all right locked door on the third floor I can't really look around there but other than that lots of loot lots of loot indeed all right Zoltan um have fun cleaning this place up you can go hit up some uh, ladies that uh, this bard may have had relationships with beforehand I don't know I guess we'll find out when we talk to them a oh this was one of them, right? Broken flowers? I swear it was. Here we go! I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week. Please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. 
You don't pay. Oh no! <laughs> what you all are Why are these clowns slapping lunch? women? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Greyhead? You son of a bitch. Where's my axie option? The spool has got new protection, bitch. The spool has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Oh my god, dude. Fucking mine, bitch. Mine. Offered her a better rate. Alright. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. It's fighting time! Oh, Jesus, I almost tagged that lady. Hey, check out my special trick. It's called Get Punk, bitch. <laughs> I rule you. Oh, shit, That's he's about to stab that. me. Okay. Hey, bandit that I axied. You mind putting in some work already? Thanks. Eventually. Okay. Time to do it again. And get him. Quickly now, Jerry. There we go. God, I love Axie so much. Hey, that guy is... Is he throwing stuff at me? Oh, he has a crossbow. Can we get past the laundry thing, Jerry, please? Okay, time to kill. Strong attack. Nice. Okay, and then there was one. Check it out. Axie. God, I rule you. <laughs> Get fucked. Axie is so good. Triple threat. Uh, I don't know how I got that Covered achievement. In blood, all of it. So much work for naught. I no killed those clowns. High five. Nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Hey, man. It'll come off. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself, or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun, and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, I well, can see through your shoulders, lady. <laughs> Is that normal? Professors need clean undergarments, too. I suppose so. You know about Dandelion? Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Uh, okay. So Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Hmm. Who was he with in the harborside? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Ha! Ah! Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. I Alright. Not a fan of the arts, I see. Well, thanks anyway. Thanks for your help. I'm gonna go loot these clowns now. Hope you don't mind. Listen. When I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Ah, All right. All right. Uh, okay, hold on. I gotta loot the clowns, see if they had anything good on them. I can't believe one of those jerks was shooting me with a crossbow. What an a-hole. One of them came at me with a spear. Oh, and don't think that... These grilled chicken sandwiches are going to appease me either. I mean, it's a good start. 
But I, my wrath will not be subsided until all these jokers are dead. Okay, hold on. And they're called Horsons? This is Broadhead Bull? That's something. Okay, I'm gonna eat some roast chicken leg. There we go. We're kind of lousy with food right now, so I figure, eh, may as well eat some. Anyway, we are off to talk to Elihol? Elihol? Elihol. 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 That's the one. What's this place supposed to be now? Welcome, welcome. Do come in. Who is this asshole? I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elihol. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Oh. Oh, I think I know where this is going. He's gonna come back in a dress, isn't he? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I picked up on that when Any I saw better? the guy liner. <laughs> oh my god. So you are. Elihow. Gender fluid. Got it. Did you and Dandelion. I mean. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Keyword blind? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's With it. your bodies? I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Well, that's neat. When did you see him? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. What'd you talk- you would, yeah, what you talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He ask about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings-on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <coughs> nice. Great way to go out. Why are you dressed like that? Um, I don't care. Thanks for the help. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. I might need new pants. I got some silver pantaloons, but I can't actually equip them, which is the most disappointing thing in the world. I found them in my inventory. A few episodes back, I freaked out over them. I was like, I got new pants! Fantastic! No, it turns out they're actually just a junk item. Yeah, silver pantaloons. Such bullshit. What isn't bullshit is I made these gloves earlier, and now we can finally retire our neoprene gloves. Isn't that great? Oh, and look at that. I can even put a rune on them as well. What do you think? Igni? Nah. Ard? Nah. Axie? Probably. Quinn? Quinn's also very good. But we're gonna do some Axie. Because <laughs> I love it too much. Okay, speaking of loving stuff too much... I got a, I got a point for my skills. I could do more Axie. I was told I need to max out my Quen though, because it's one of the best. But I love Axie too much. I love Axie too much. Doing it, doing more Axie, don't care. I should be upgrading my attack skills, but I don't care. I love Axie too much. Okay, 
We're done here. Uh, Ella Hall. Hi. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Oh, you have a spring collection? Wow, okay. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Well, that sounds great, Ella. Hall. Hello. Wolf mask. Harlequin mask. Bird mask. <laughs> what is this? Oh, these are just fancy stuff. They're not actually uh, armor. These masks fascinate me, though. I don't want... Bird mask? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I bought that. It has a quest thing next to it, though. Plus, I want to wear a stupid-ass bird mask. Hold so on. long. Okay, hold on, hold on. Everybody shut up for one second. And a stupid-ass bird mask I really, really want to wear. Can I actually equip it? I really, really hope so. Here we go. <laughs> this looks like something you'd wear to, like, I don't know, an orgy. <laughs> One of those anonymous orgies from, like, Eyes Wide Shut or something. Actually... <laughs> Take it off, Cherry. It's too fucking weird. How do I take it off? Okay, here we go. Get. Uh, right. Please unequip this, Cherry. It looks too stupid. We're gone. Okay. See you later, Mr. Gender Fluid Man. Have fun with your exploits and working on your summer line. Yes? Okay. Whatever. Black Onward to Marbella. Uh, Wait, this was the orphanage we were at. Okay, I need to check something real quick. Bring your children to Marbella School for Tots, where they can learn reading, writing, and respect for the gods. But you charge no fees, but welcome donations from all of you. Generosity is what keeps us going. Yeah, these are the orphans we saved. Yagna, yeah. They don't remember me, though. It must be like evil tree spirit magic or something and I have no idea hey kids that Excuse don't remember me. me I'm looking for Marabella I am she wait outside class is in session uh yeah sure okay I'll wait it won't take long it turns out he'll not come all right. after we're all. just gonna wait I guess but why does this kid get to play hooky must be coming home for more Right. Travic! Wonder where he's from. How come you kids don't remember me? Wait until lesson is over. Right. Uh meditate? Sure. Wonder what they're teaching in there. Probably sex ed. That's why they don't want me to be in there right now. I they they probably think I'd teach him too good. <laughs> Are you done? Oh, you're done. Okay. Hello. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Did you see him later? See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Okay, well, thanks, lady. Thanks for your help. Farewell. And thanks for picking up these orphans, mm -hmm. lady. Um, I won't ask how you came upon them. I'm gonna guess probably by some weird horse. That's fine. Oh, I don't want to read this. Yagna? Must be coming home from war. Still don't know who I am. That's so weird. Whatever. I'm glad these orphans are safe, though. That's the one plus out of that whole Bloody Baron fiasco we had, right? Okay, hold on one moment. Okay. 
So, let's just take stock in what we know, shall we? The Mr. Dandelion. Why are we going this way? <laughs> this is weird. Mr. Dandelion was hitting up an alchemist and wanted to learn about fungi, fungi. But he's a bard, so I don't know why he was doing that. And a laundress? I didn't really get the details on that laundry lady, other than, you know, we just learned a little backstory on Dandelion. That he's a bit of a bit of a ladies' man. Um, what is, have I been here? Is this like the Cloud District or something? I don't think I've ever been up here before. Probably because I'm part of the common rabble. That's not a reference to anything at all. Hey, look, a new barber shop. Maybe they have better barbering things here. Let me look at this for a second. I just want to see if there's different uh, quest out here. It looks like there is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, haunted house. I think we already did that. Or is this a different haunted house? I seek a witcher of unsullied reputation. Documentation regarding prior achievements and written references preferred. Well, really? Can you be that discerning when asking for help from a witcher? I believe there's only like four of us. But I could be mistaken. Who will undertake the task of combing the residents on the outskirts of a city recently acquired by the undersigned Count Kurt Dessart in order to find and drive off or kill a creature which is haunting it? A sizable reward is guaranteed. Okay, that sounds fun. Uh, we'll buy books. Cool. Gwent tournament, don't care. Stay out of the sewers. All venerable residents of Novigrad that last week the Temple Guard fished three bodies following the description of the male, female. These bodies will be examined and identified at the end of the month, then cremated. We would like to take this opportunity to warn dear townsmen, uh, stay out of the sewers. Yeah, that sounds lame. Armor's Guild. Ah! Right. That's just a notice. Okay, whatever. Alright! Well, we have a new contract on a haunted house. That sounds exciting. Okay. But we're in the middle of a thing right now, so maybe later. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, the captain of the guard. Right, 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 right. This baronet's love, let's fill her. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Jerry, you starting shit, man. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet, and know each other. Surprising. I'm surprised how many people Jerry knows. I really should have gotten the backstory on this guy before I started playing this game. So, we've met before. Wait. Met Voris and Visima? We've met before, right. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired to chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? I... I don't require to be sophisticated, but yeah, sure. Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then! Did you say something about horse racing? I remember the last time I went horse racing, it turned into kind of a stupid affair, honestly. <laughs> I just blew the other guy out of the water. Oh, wait, and then we raced, uh... Here I met that one time. Right. I recall. I recall. Okay. I'm down with this. I can do this. The Vegel Buds estate a few hours later. We've arrived. 
My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? Hate them. I can't, can't stand them. So. Called every horse I've had Roach. Oh. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vold. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. Nah. Good one. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Uh, right. So, Molly? Is Molly a horse? <laughs> Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Indeed. So, I don't. I don't actually hate horses. Tell the truth. I don't understand why horses do a goddamn thing we tell them to. They're giant fucking animals that could trample us without a second thought. <laughs> so, I just don't understand them, honestly. But as, if we get along, I mean, I'm cool. I'll feed them a carrot. I don't care. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly you just try stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Fine. Done. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Can I choose Roach? That is crazy how you call every horse you own Roach. That's a good call. <laughs> My history of horses in Skyrim tells me that is a good call. Don't get too attached to that horse. And if you're going to name it, name it the same thing every time. Uh, Chestnuts... Nemrod, Cantarella. That guy said Nemrod was good, right? I guess I'll take his word for it. Unless he's fucking with me. Yeah, okay, whatever. The black's your favorite? Let's see what a Nilf Guardian stallion's made of. I'll not race. However, I will wager on a winner. The Grey Mare's my choice. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Yes, I'm assuming that horse is just the evil tree spirit I freed, and it's in disguise. Doesn't have the red eyes. Okay. Ready. Yeah. Two, one. Vamanos! Come. 